Let me guess, you've never been to the French Quarter of New Orleans, but you've heard about it and you really don't even know where to start, what to do. Well, here's a little quick 101. It's a lot of fun. It's really not that bad. There's so much history to see. First important thing, where do I park? There is a very, very long parking lot. It's paid parking between the Mississippi River and exactly where Jackson Square is. We parked there. It was $15 for two hours. The pay machines take cards and cash or there is an app. There's plenty of space even when it's busy. You'll cross over the bridge and the first thing you'll see is the beautiful Jackson Square with old world buildings in the background. You can't go one block without running into a sign of some historical nature. Like all the street signs are embedded in many of the buildings. When New Orleans was the capital of the Spanish province of Louisiana, between 1762 and 1803, the street bore the name. Like Calle de Conde, Camino Real y Muel. They're beautiful signs Many people just walk like we did, but some like to take the carriage rides, and many of them give you a background on all the wonderful buildings. And if you have time and the money, I certainly recommend that you do this. We just walked and read the signs and did a little bit of previous research. The one thing that everyone wants to see when they go to the French Quarter is Jackson Square and where Major General Andrew Jackson's statue is. There was a time when people were wanting to pull this statue down and the local said not on our watch old hickory is staying right there thank you people for understanding history literally you can't walk anywhere without finding a sign indicating someone did something here like this one jackson square mall there are buildings like the presbytery building and they have the plaques on the building so you can read them very clearly and see what this building was used for when it was built and in this case this is a system duplicate building of the building on the other side of the basilica and they are used as the Louisiana State Museum. They are impressive old world buildings in the new world. This plaque is right in front of the St. Louis Basilica and it marks the plaza or the place where Jean-Paul II was there when he visited the basilica. Take time, read these things. It's all a part of American history. It's so wonderful. Many people are just rushing into shops or rushing into restaurants or just not paying attention to the history of this city. But if you are a lover of history like I am, you'll want to read these signs. I'm telling you, if it's not every other building, it's every second building has a plaque on it marking what has happened there of historical interest. We had gotten a listing of architectural masterpieces in New Orleans, and that was our focus was to see some of those down near Jackson Square. And of course, as I already mentioned to see the statue of Old Hickory. That's Andrew Jackson. You know of the Battle of New Orleans fame? Did you learn that song? In 1814, we took a little trip. I did. You will love walking the streets and seeing the beautiful architecture that New Orleans is so well known for. Pedestrians, bicycles, and horse-drawn carriages are everywhere. There are street musicians, and we'll post either a short or a video on two of them that we saw during our visit. You'll want to watch those videos coming up soon. You may have already watched the video on Café du Monde. If you get there anytime because the place is open 24-7, you'll want to go get a beignet and the chicory coffee. I think it's the best coffee there is. You'll want to go to Café du Monde. This is the original location down in the French Quarter. Get an order of beignet and a coffee. Well, two coffees if there's two of you. It's under 15 bucks. You can't beat it for such a nostalgic place to be. I'm going to continue on because this one's already getting way too long. So I'm going to break here and we'll pick back up. Ugly shoes on the ground. And as I said, we did a lot of walking. I needed comfortable shoes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch other videos that I've posted on fun, fabulous historical places. Thank you.